Hey guys, it's Steve on the Guru Brew 2. We're going to get right into the questions. This is actually a CNC question, and this is from Pitour, titled CNC. Hi, I'm using a router table and a handheld router to uh, cut acrylic, mostly 5 millimeter. What bit is best for good results? Smooth edges. Regards. Yeah, that's a good question. And acrylic or plexiglass is another brand name for it, this stuff here. I commonly cut this stuff all the time. This is about a 0.2 thickness. Um, can be a real challenge if you don't get it just right. A lot of it has to do with how fast you're moving your bit. The problem is if you heat up the bit or the material too quickly, it likes to weld itself behind the cut. So if you're zipping through this stuff really slow, it'll actually close itself back up. So I've, I've been playing around with it in the past and um, I find that even if I throw the material in a freezer for an hour and then I cut it right away, that helps. And also some cold ice water in a spray bottle on the cut also helps. Now, Recently, um, and I put this on my other videos, I started using this special acrylic bit from Bosch. I'll show you where I got this in just a minute. It's designed specifically for acrylic, and it seems to work really good. Uh, aside from the bits, something else I've noticed is uh, the smaller the bit, the harder it is to work with. I find that a quarter inch bit, like a 0.25, is actually better than like a 0.125 as far as uh, moving the chips out of the cut. It seems that the smaller the bit size, the harder it is to use. So on the you know inside corners, if you can get away with a quarter inch bit, that's certainly better than an eighth inch. Let me take you over here to a website and I'll show you a couple things here. This is the actual Bosch bit that I purchased, and you can see it's a solid carbide double flute acrylic plastic cutting router bit. And this works really great. I had to actually special order this. I don't know where you're located, but uh, I was able to um, go to Lowe's Home Improvement Store, and they actually had to order this special but I paid around $30 for it and it was there in a couple of days. And I still use this bit, it, it remains quite sharp as long as I just use it for acrylic only. And I keep my speeds up, that's the main thing is keep your feed rate up as high as you can get it. And try to slow your spindle down as low as you can get it is the main thing. Try to avoid heat at all cost. Um, I also use the Bosch regular straight bits for cutting in wood and that sort of thing. These are about 15 to 20 dollars and this is 30 dollars. I'll go in for a tight shot of these in just a minute. And something else I also wanted to bring to your attention, I didn't know if you knew, but uh, there's actually um, a couple different kinds of plastic that you can buy. This is like I say called um, plexiglass is the brand name and it's made by extrusion process. It squirted out a nozzle. And there's another kind that's called cast. And that's where they would pour the material into a form and let it cool. And if I take you to uh, this page here, this is Professional Plastics. You can see that they sell cast sheets and they're acrylic. And this stuff does cost more. It's almost double the cost, but this stuff cuts a lot better something about its properties um, if you use the same bit on cast and extrude you'd be amazed at the difference let me get my uh, little camera set up on the table and I'll show you these two bits and we'll compare them okay so this is just a straight bit general purpose bit that you might buy and uh, we're going to take a look at it You can see it, it's two flute and it's got like a notch down here. And this is this is a Bosch. This is this one here. It's a quarter inch straight bit. And this is the special order one that I was telling you about. And the number on it is 8561M. 
and it's a two flute acrylic bit and it looks like a twist bit so you can probably see the difference between these two now I have had this one a while so it is getting older but uh, it still works well and uh, I don't know they just put a certain kind of edge on there that makes it great for plastic so anyway um, there are you know special bits for acrylic and they are worth the money I was kind of skeptical at first I would like to go ahead and purchase some smaller bits for acrylic because uh, I could use an eighth inch one I know if I try to use like a Dremel tool or something like that in an eighth inch it just melts the plastic even if you turn the speeds down I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I've also tried ice water in a spray bottle. And that does work, as well as freezing the part before you, you cut it. Okay, something else I wanted to add into this video too is once you get the plastic cut, you can take a flame from a torch and just briefly, real quickly, go over the, uh, the cut and it will help to smooth this over and make it really shiny. If you Google flaming plexi online, you'll you'll find information. It's easy to do, but uh, it's easy to screw up too. You just have to go real quick. I suggest doing it on a test piece. So that is it for the bits. If you guys have your own ideas of better ways to cut acrylic plastic, leave leave them in the comments below. And thank you for the question. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.